social media is always something that is being manipulated in the favor of the bourgeoisie because the bourgeoisie do own it. Now, here's something that I find uh, particularly disgusting. Any Israeli can come out and basically say anything about killing Arabs all they want and they can get away with it. But if Palestinians dare even talk about defending themselves, then it's not okay. And I'm talking specifically Twitter here. Uh, for example, uh, Twitter has decided that anybody advocating violence will have their account shut down or censored, etc., except if a government body does it. Accounts that affiliate with organizations that use or promote violence against civilians to further their causes Groups included in this policy will be those that identify as such or engage in activity both on and off the platform that promotes violence. This policy does not apply to military or government entities, and we will consider exceptions for groups that are currently engaging in or have engaged in peaceful resolution. So, in other words, if a government says it, it's okay. But if somebody opposing said crime says it, then it's not okay. I mean, this is, it, it's, it's, it's really ridiculous how draconian a Twitter is really going in this direction. For example, there's already complete hypocrisies going on. Okay, say you've got uh, Banna Albed. You know, the, the little Syrian girl who's seven years old get somehow manages to write in perfect English and write books and get endorsed by J.K. Rowling? When really all she's doing, it, or all she was doing, was calling for World War III to take place inside of Syria by asking the U.S. to come in and bomb. I mean, she was a, a cute little, you know, propaganda tool. But if I had Tamimi, you know, the Palestinian girl who slapped the Israeli soldier, you know, if she says, you know, that what she did was right to go out and slap the soldier who murdered her, what is it, what was it, her, her brother or her cousin, you get your account deleted. So uh, think about that. If you advocate for World War III by having the United States bomb a country, hey, you're okay, you're good to go, and you get to be friends with J.K. Rowling. But if you advocate Palestinians standing up for themselves when their families are literally being murdered by the IDF, you get your account taken down. Maybe Twitter would like to explain that one and how that works inside their minds. But I, I think we really already know the answer to that. Twitter is in the hands of the bourgeoisie and serves imperialist interests. There is even a guy, uh, you might even recall the story, he burnt alive a Palestinian baby. He was, a, he was an Israeli settler, settler. He burnt alive a Palestinian baby. Not only is he not in jail... But he has his Twitter account up. Literally burning a baby alive and advocate doing it isn't enough to get your Twitter account shut down. Think about that. And this is the policy that Twitter puts forward to the public. That's okay. But say I was right to hit the Israeli soldier that murdered my family member. Oh, you get your account shut down. I mean, it's, it's, utterly, it's utterly disgusting how we can see how, how capitalism will co-opt anything inside of its system and manipulate it for the purposes of twisting the truth, to, to twist half-truths into, into propaganda necessary to justify the murderous system that they have. As the U.S. military, uh, even the, the Israeli IDF, goes around the world murdering people, in the millions, and particularly the, the, specifically the U.S. military in this case, that's perfectly okay. And that's, that's a, a thing that, you know, that, that's all, all right for Twitter. That's, that's a thing that's perfectly okay. But if, like, a 16-year-old Palestinian girl slaps an Israeli soldier, oh, well, they have to put the kibosh on that. Meanwhile, Israeli settlers are allowed to ad outright advocate and promote genocide on Twitter, and but Facebook as well, Mark Zuckerberg. I mean, it, it's absolutely disgusting what's, what's being allowed to, to, to get away with in capitalism because it justifies the position or creates the false narrative possible to justify the total and complete inhumanities of this system. 
while people are screaming about someone using a word they don't like on the internet, you've got this horrible inhumanity going on. But all the, all the little SJWs are all distracted by, oh, they used a word I didn't like. Meanwhile, the justification for the murders of millions of people around the world is being used, and they couldn't even give five minutes of attention to that. And this speaks more to the, the, the so-called you know, revolutionary potential of the first world, that these, particularly the United States, that this is where their attention is going. And this is a kind of thing that, that Twitter basically has a free hand to do, advocate and frankly promote genocide. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.